to make a walking stick for my doll Lori and for that I have this um, this long pin that I marked I am going to do this um, I just put a mark on here for the length of where it has to be I have this hand with the hole in and I put that on my doll and placed it in this uh, position for a walking stick and then I made this little mark where I wanted it to go to so you can see that I have the mark right there so from here and down here is the length and I made a tiny tiny hook down here uh, to have something to have it hanging on and I am going to use uh, opaque white uh, caramel and brown clay and I'm going to mix them together but not like a hundred percent I am going to make a color that is not unicolored and then I will be back. So hang on. I wrote my clay out in a setting six and I am going to cut some edges here or some stripes of my clay. and I am going to take my pin and one of these stripes I'm saving the wrist clay for later and I am trying to show you what I'm gonna do I'm just putting it here on the tip and then I am rolling it like this up over my stick, my pin here and it is overlaying and it's all fine and I'm going all the way up to my mark and I'm cutting it off by the mark so I have it like this and now I'm just going to squeeze it some more around my stick pin turning it I'm just going to cut off here to make a nice edge and I am going to take the hand and put it on the stick no I'm not going to bake it together but I'm making sure that it sits so it looks really good when she holds it in her hand like you can see here And when I'm happy with it, I'm going to take off the hand carefully. I took a piece of clay and rolled it into a ball as you see here. I'm going to use that later for the top part after we bake this. And I'm going to take my pearl X. This is a cover or redly color. And I am just putting this pearl, or putting it all over the pearl making sure it's covered make sure it's all covered like that you can use whatever color you like and then bake it with uh, the stick that's it I will be right back I baked my two parts so they're hot now um, and it fits to the hand like I wanted to I don't know why this hand is so dirty, but it is. Anyway, it fits, if I can get it to turn the right way. Uh, and I have my tiny pearl. I am going to cut this um, off a bit over the hand. Not 
There we go. A tiny bit over my hand, as you see here. So, okay, I am going to take this one, making sure I have a nice cut I have. Okay, and I am going to make the top uh, for this. And I am going to wrap the bottom of my st uh, stuff with my clay, just like I did with the uh, bottom clay. I am going to make a top. And I think I am going to use this one. Let's see, I'm going to use my doll hand for that. And I need to have it on this course. I need uh, the hole for the pin later. But I am going to put this one on here, making sure it fits the hand. So it looks neat. And I'm going to squeeze it over uh, the top of my pin so that I don't have a pin in that piece up here and I am going to make sure my pearl fits in there like that in the top of my staff, staff in the top of my stick pin thing I pick the top uh, and I can take out the pin now, like that. So I have the top with the hole in, which make it able to be connected. So what you do is you put it in the hand and you put the top on, like that. There you have your staff, but I'm going to make a few details on it or paint it a bit. So for that I take some dark brown acrylic paint and put a bit on it on my work table here. Then I have some water and I'm just going to Take some of this paint with the water and I'm going over and I'm just painting my stuff here with this let's see this is easier And I'm gonna do this on my total staff all over and then I'm going to glaze it when I'm done and that's it. Happy crafting!